Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Yeah, I thought hey, it was me last time. Yeah, but we expect that from you, Devin. <laughs> rolling high when you don't want to and rolling low when you don't want to. Yeah. One. Two. At two, I move to attack Dagnir with the top right. Three. With which one? Uh, top right guard. Oh, the bow. Okay. I thought you meant actually move to attack. Uh, three. Four. I knock an arrow. Move to attack Dagnir. Five, six, seven. Move to attack. Uh, Thedra. Eight. Eight. Uh, Dagnir um, bites at the one below him. The tackle. Hit or miss at nine. Nine. Dagnir attacks. Twelve will hit AC three. Hit. For six. <sighs> wrong button. Always wrong button. Dead. All right. I um, shoot an arrow at Dagnir. Oh, jeez. Triple damage. For a total of six. That could have been much worse. He's down to 17 hit points. <laughs> Uh, which, which one shot that at him? The uh, top one? It's going to be the top one, yes. Okay. Well, that's who he's attacking next, because right now he's just reacting. Whoever's closest or whoever hit him. All right. We're going to go ahead and move on from that. That was at 9, 10. 10 a knock, an arrow. <laughs> Your rolls are awful. <laughs> 11. They are. It's not fair. 12. Twelve, my first arrow goes off at the same guy I was doing before. Top. Yeah. And I miss. <laughs> Thirteen. How many times can I roll under ten on a D twenty in a row? Fourteen. <laughs> I attack Nolan. I see Nolan. Six. Just, I swear oh to my God. God. That means I'm on the floor. <laughs> Devin, you just got to come up with something where you got to roll a uh, proficiency check and then you roll high. No, then I roll low. No, on a proficiency check. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 12 damage. Minus 9. At least it wasn't one more, right? Doesn't matter, I'm gonna bleed out. Huh. We'll see. How quickly you guys can wrap it up. Uh all right. Um fifteen? What do you have left, Devin? When? Twenty. Twenty? Okay. Sixteen. <laughs> I'm going to shoot my last arrow with the dire wolf. Duh! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> it's great to be me. 
That's three in a row. Three uh, crits in a row. One double on the wolf. damage. And then another one on the wolves. Ten. Oh my god. <laughs> Chris, that happens to the wolf. Yeah, his guard, Eric's guards. Crit on the wolf. Crit on Thadra and killed him. Crit on the wolf. He's definitely more alive, so. Well, no, my wolf's still alive. Well, we had 25 hit points started out. So, Devin and the wolf. Devin, it looks like it's going to be a foul game. Uh, Devin, take your tax. I critted again, Nolan, just so you know. And I missed again. Yeah, he wow. critted and hit my wolf for 10. TPK. <laughs> yeah, that's three crits he's rolled in a row. One on my wolf, one on you, and another one on my wolf. And I've rolled six or under like five times in a row now. <sighs> All right, roll initiative. Do I see it to roll to see what time I bleed at? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> that, that I think I've modified. You only lose a hit point every 10 minutes of bleeding, so it doesn't happen during combat rounds. All right, fair enough. This campaign's brutal enough. <laughs> it's not the campaign, Eric. It's your dice. <laughs> Wait, everybody three of them? before Eric. Three? I thought there was only two left. We all think That's, we see. That's not good. <laughs> all right, one. Two. We rolled eight and nine. Yeah, I rolled an eight. Oh, okay. Hold on. See, I roll high for initiative. All right. Every time. I roll low for everything else. Actually, Crystal used to roll high for initiative all the time. So this is at five. What is that? Uh, you notice a figure wearing no. leather armor, getting moving behind this guard. I'm sorry, what? Crystal was yelling no at one of the kids. I think Eric is taking pity on us and saving us. <laughs> it sure looks like it. Well, if, you <laughs> just, if you would have just gone south and gone through the doors for the entrance area like normal humans, you would have found help. Instead of having to rewrite the script a little. <laughs> no, we dove deep into the dungeon. And ran into the room filled with double your number of guards. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me this dungeon was poorly designed. I hereby call you all Shaglock. <laughs> well, we would have been fine if the dice weren't out to kill us all. Yeah, I we mean, have been rolling really freaking <laughs> terrible, and and you've been rolling really really well. Well, it's I'm me. Of course, I'm rolling well. Uh, at seven, this guard's going to move to attack Dagny's bow. At eight, this guard's going to move to shoot Devin with his bow, a lariat. Allegra. I also Allegra. <laughs> Allegra. Allegra, got it. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's it. Uh, let me add these weapon speeds on real quick. Otherwise, it becomes very difficult for me to keep track of. Because I don't math well. Uh, is there anyone before eight? I'm at minus nine. Does that count? <laughs> At eight, I knocked my arrow. Okay. I moved to backstab. <laughs> Wait, something's wrong. That wasn't the twenty. No, because well, of course not. I'm He's on our side. You. To help us. <laughs> uh, At least it wasn't a one. Uh, three plus four seven. No, uh, uh, uh yeah. I attribute it to to my uh my my wheezy tiredness. Well, you're no longer sneaking. All right. You think you're sneaking? All right. Well, that was eight, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nine. Go. And then at ten, I bite. <laughs> 
Ten. On the, or attack the top guy. When they shot me. That'll be a hit. Yeah, that'll hit AC minus two. Mm-hmm. Quite deaded. Oof. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Uh, so fifteen I miss. Add seven on. Devin, when's your next shot? Uh, sixteen. Shoot it. Did okay. you hit something? No. Probably not. Do you no, have any more shots? Uh, 20. Shoot it. Or wait, no, 24, oh. sorry. Okay, 22, I shoot at you. 20. Docco 20, I hit AC 10. What's your AC? 10. Oh. <laughs> And I'm dead. Uh, where's the uh, quick save and quick restore? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this has been a bloody mess. <laughs> All um, right, a uh, roll initiative for your wolf. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Buzz, the monkeys aren't working. We're formulating a new plan. <laughs> <laughs> plan bleed to death? <sighs> All right. Well, um, at two, the at mysterious leather armored stranger is going to move to attack with a stagger. Uh, at one, Dagnir is going to bite at that guy, so at two, his attack goes off. You have his initiative marked as eight. I Sorry, I didn't update it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he rolled a one. That's he did what, roll a one. That's what cheaters say. No, look, it's right there in the chat. It's in the mm -hmm. chat log. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Disagree with me? Get that's what Eric thinks game. of that. <laughs> <laughs> I kick you. Hit. I think it's official. Your wolf just saved us all. Kind of. <laughs> At two, my wolf bites his nuts off. Dead. Go, and go, Dagnir. All of you who are bleeding out are now unconscious. Um, in the interest of uh, role-playing, Dagnir doesn't know this guy. It's fair. So, but you're not going to see what happens. So, well, but I mean, Dag Dagnir's going to growl at him and act aggressive and wait to see what he does. At least, what's and, Dagnir's intelligence? Uh, uh, let me look it up. I listed in the monster manual. Could be, yeah. Yeah, I got it here. I don't have I a would... PDF on this side of my computer. I'm on my Windows side, and I meant to bring up my iPad, but I did not. I would hope you would notice that he was trying to attack the same guys we were. Because <laughs> Direwolf is fairly intelligent. Yes, but he doesn't subscribe to the enemy of my enemy is my friend. He's also in a blood-filled rage. Yeah, he's also in a blood-filled rage because I just went through, sure. like, psychically bonded. Um, he, intelligence is two to four. Um, since I have to... Since I have, if I have to replace... My beast, it has to be like the best and the brightest. I guess we could assume that he's intelligence four. Okay. Well, once again, none of this matters to you guys because you're unconscious. All right. So give me a minute here. I guess if the guy has like animal or or something along those lines, he could try and calm him down. <laughs> and if he can, Dagner will carry my uh, unconscious body out of the thing, throws it over his back.
If not, he'll drag it out, drag me out by my armor. Can you guys? All right, look around for stuff you can actually see. I see a room. You guys begin to awaken into a, a, a darker room. The air inside kind of has a pleasant scent. A thick carpet covers the floor and tapestries adorn the walls. The room has a trio of armchairs with quilted cushions, which many of you are in, and a writing desk with a straight-backed chair, and a canopied bed flanked by small night tables, each with a bowl and pitcher on top. Near the foot of the bed stands an unlit brazier on an iron tripod. The same mysterious stranger is sitting cross-legged in the top right corner of the room. As you awaken, he stands up and says, You didn't you nearly didn't make it out of that one, gents. It's a good thing that you have that fearsome beast with you. He kind of likes me. I'm going to pat Dagner on the head and ask the stranger what his name is. Oh, is it? Stop drawing those paper. Please. All right. None of this third person talk. It's a role playing game. Sorry. I pat Dagner on the head and ask the stranger what his name is. It's still in third person. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, pat Dagner on the head and say, What's your name, stranger? It's a little distracted by the munchkin. <laughs> Drawing all over. Well, luckily my note sheet, not my character sheet. But... Well met, sir. You can you can call me Alistair. I'm a girl, sir. Well, <laughs> hey, I hate all your chicks. It's so complicated. <laughs> well, you have to admit, she's kind of mannish. Can you describe Alistair for us? Wait, no, his is, not mine. He's a Templar. Am I even saying that name right? I always mix it up. It's Alistair, right? My boss at my previous job was a British Canadian dual citizen named Alistair Jenkins. Alistair, how, okay. Alistair. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm saying it right. Um, Al Alistair is about five foot eight uh, with dark hair and a goatee. He's wearing leather armor, but doesn't really seem to be armed. Well, he is armed now. Yeah, he'd be armed now. He has, he has a dagger and it, one of the guard's short bows on his belt. Okay. And for the record, my character is not Manish. She's 84 pounds and 4 foot 1. <laughs> Manish. Devin's character is the one that's 6'8". <laughs> we need like a Sias comparison chart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming Ice Human. Is that correct? He's human, yes. Okay, cool. Just check. I pulled you guys oh. into, into another room a little bit further away. Uh, that they could be back soon. I bandaged your wounds as best I could. Well, thanks Thank for, for your assistance, Alistair. Thanks for pulling us out of there. That did not go anywhere near as well as we had hoped. No, yes. it did not. Indeed. Uh, I'd like to claim that it was fortunate that I got out of my bonds when I did. However, I, I didn't succeed in doing much. <laughs> Though I suppose if I would have remained tied up, you would have bled to death. That is very true. So yeah. we are very grateful. Thank you very much. My wolf would have dragged me out of here, but I'm not sure if that would have done me any good. Thank you very much. You were bleeding quite profusely. And you guys do have bandages on your wounds. Are we like at one hit point? I take or... the first aid proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> I took veterinary. It was it was role playing, you know. Of course, it's, it, there's a wisdom check, and that's my lowest stat. But... Fair enough. Yes, you are Which, all at, you are all at one hit point. Okay. <laughs>